Hello. Have you seen the French TV movie Hidden Kisses? I hope so because I'm going to talk about it in some depth in a series of short videos. So this is a spoiler alert for those who haven't seen it. The Looks of Love Movies have always glorified love scenes, but since individual moviegoers all have personal preferences, cinema's love scenes are not always successful. For the producer and director of Hidden Kisses to convince their audiences that these very young men did in fact fall in love at first sight, they needed two remarkable young men. And they got them. We'll never know how much coaching and rehearsal Berenger and So, who plays Nathan, and Jules Houplain, who plays Louis, needed, but they made it look real. Their first sighting across the room as Nathan is introduced to his new classmates is stunning. You may sense that Louis is somewhat self-conscious in that scene, and indeed that's exactly what the script calls for. Later in the film, Louis will explain to Nathan, Then you showed up. It was the first time I felt something like that. I was really ashamed, more than ever. Louis knew from the time he was eight that he was different that he would never be like other boys, but he didn't know why. By the time he was 16, he had absorbed the lifestyle and phobias of his contemporaries, and that included homophobia. He could not think of himself as gay. To do so would be a betrayal of his life. So, why did he invite Nathan to the greenhouse and the test kiss? You cannot create a better example of internal conflict. His conscious mind says no, his heart says yes. And in the fog of vodka and the uncertain protection of the darkness, he yields. He tastes the ecstasy of that kiss. He will soon bury it under shame and guilt, but he will never forget it. The next day, both boys are back in school, and as the Facebook photo makes the rounds, Nathan is taunted and teased. In the classroom, he's threatened. In the basketball game, he's roughed up, and in the locker room, he's kicked and beaten. Louis is witness to all of this, and it confirms his acceptance of society's hatred of homosexuality. Copycat rage sweeps over him, and he joins in beating Nathan, whom he suddenly sees as his enemy. Patrick Timsett plays Nathan's father, Stefan. In two scenes, his strong, masculine face radiates love, and both times, it's perfect. As he tends Nathan's bleeding face, we see a father's helplessness in trying to protect his son, and the most he can do is say, I'm here, I'm here. Up on the roof of the factory, he sees and profoundly understands that between Nathan and Louis, there is real love. His face says he loves them both. Up on the roof, what a masterpiece of suspense. Who wrote Nathan's words? He doesn't say, don't jump. What he does say is, Louis, look at me. Why? What good is that? One look at his face tells the story. He's flooded with fear for the one he loves, and he loves Louis with all his heart. But only a few minutes ago, Louis got Nathan's voicemail saying, you're dead to me now. That tells me that Nathan is only 16 years old. Yes, he's been beaten, but he's helplessly in love and struggling with emotions he doesn't know how to handle. Now, on the roof, his hurt has vanished, and all he can see is the danger to Louis. But Louis's life is shattered, and suicide seems to be his only option. Louis thinks, what is that crazy Nathan doing? Give me your hand. Louis's family has finally realized he's gay, and they have ostracized him. 
He's forbidden to hug his little brother, whom he adores. Laura now knows he's lied to her and used her. He himself beat Nathan bloody only a couple days ago. So what's this crazy Nathan doing? Give me your hand. Louis is only sixteen years old. He doesn't really want to die. But the one and only thing in this world that reaches out to him now is a slender thread from this crazy Nathan. A thread so fine it might be unreal. But it's the only thread left in his life. Give me your hand. And Louis does. There is no look of love between the boys on the roof. Even as they embrace, Louis's face is stony, stunned by the enormity of his life's problems and his confrontation with death. But hidden in his depths, his soul has confronted the truth and found its soul mate. The only look of love on the roof comes from Stefan, who has witnessed the miracle that love has delivered. In Nathan's bedroom, as the boys tell each other their deepest secrets, the subject of Louis's scarf comes up. Nathan grabs the scarf and sniffs it. Louis asks, why are you doing that? It's your scent. That is how Nathan retrieves his sense of Louis when they're apart. He smiles at Louis, and we again see the look of love. Later that night, after seeing the sleeping boys again entwined, Stefan seeks out Patricia, played by Carol Rickert, whose bedrock honesty has helped him endure the trials. He tells her what has happened in the past day, about his own pain and distress, and at last the realization that the boy's love is real. She is taken with Stefan's honesty, and over the days of the story, she has slowly fallen in love with him. When it's time for Stefan to leave her apartment, the look of love shines in her eyes, and she says, Stay here. The look of love shines again in this beautiful story when Louis, his mother, and little brother Theo get off the train. Louis and Nathan are at opposite ends of the platform, and as soon as they see each other, they race toward each other. When they smile and embrace and kiss, it is with the joy of love unashamed. Last, 16-year-old Louis has every right to hate his father's cruel treatment. But Louis doesn't really hate his father. He has admired and respected and loved him all his life. Above all, he wants his father's approval. Winning the prize fight was a goal both he and his father dreamed of and worked hard for. And when Louis did win it, he wanted his father to share his victory. Louis asks him, Would you celebrate this with us? Bruno hesitates, but then starts to leave. Louis implores him, Stay here, Dad. And the look on his face is desperately serious. It is a plea for love. But Bruno, desperately conflicted himself, leaves. In the next video, I'll talk about Bruno.